So today what I'm going to show is something uh, that I've been asked many times that uh, so basically I'm going to show a very simple uh, example of uh, creating a vector pipeline, a vector database pipeline and then using that uh, as a chatbot. So I'm going to create uh, a data ingestion pipeline in which uh, whenever a new new knowledge article will come, it will get stored in my vector database. And uh, then I will use uh, the same vector database to query uh, my, my records, okay? Now for that, what I've done, as you can see over here, it's an NA10 platform. Uh, NA10, uh, what it does, it's, it, uh, it has a lot of connectors and it is a low code platform so almost for creation of this i've created no uh, so th uh, there is no code that i required i created the whole pipeline and uh, i didn't code anything and for that what i had to do so first thing is i'm going to share the templates so first thing that you have to do is uh, create a quadrant vector store and uh, it is free so you can use uh, uh, like uh, connect with your um, quadrant. So once you'll like see, as you can see, it's a free tier and uh, uh, you can just simply like connect it. Uh, once you'll log in, it will ask you to create a cluster and then uh, in a cluster, you will have multiple collections and uh, in the collections. So like here, collections is where your data gets stored okay so this is a quadrant database and the second thing is uh, so just give me a second uh, and I turn back to where I was yeah here so and the second uh, part that I used is open AI embedding model so what happens really is uh, when you send the data, so first, as you can see over here, I'm getting the data. It gets sent to uh, send to OpenAI embedding uh, model to convert the data into embeddings, and that gets stored in the vector store. And uh, so that is the ingestion. Okay. Second part is when you are chatting with your data, you want to use the like your First, your record gets converted into embedding, and then, uh, uh, sorry, uh, like your query gets converted into embedding, which gets searched with the vector data over here. And uh, once that is done, it provides the information back to OpenAI chat model, and uh, you get the so which formats it and provides a response. So it is very simple, okay? So like little back and forth. That's it. Now. So let me first uh, show you um, yeah, how it works. So what I have done, I have, once you make it active and so it will provide you a kind of a chat box over here, as you can see over here. And so that you can connect uh, with your, uh, with your workflow directly from your portal. So I have already created a, so as you can see over here, uh, I've already created a chat box in ServiceNow. So this is ServiceNow and I've created a chat box. So if I'll just say here, uh, it's, it's a very like POC kind of uh, UI. So, okay, so let me just uh, say, can you tell me how to avoid spams? So this is, uh, this is, um, knowledge article which is present in my system and if there is a knowledge article i mean there is a query that i ask to this which is not present in my system then what it will do it will provide um, so as you can see it is our spam these are the guidelines and it is also providing the numbers which is not very accurate i don't think i have a number in this way but uh, that's fine hallucinates a little bit but if i'll ask uh, oh, what is n a 10 then what it will do so every time when it is answering it is going to check in the documentation first and as you can see 
uh, I searched it, uh, the search did not return relevant information about an item. So, but then it will provide information based on the general information. So it is first using the knowledge articles, like uh, how can I upgrade my Mac? So, and please ignore the UI part. I just created it like for this um, POC. Main, uh, main part is the connectivity, uh, other parts are fine. So here it is uh, better. Uh, what it has done is uh, it has provided the reference that uh, information about upgrading Mac OS and system requirement detail. Um, and that knowledge article exists in our system. So, and it is using that information from here and also providing the society, which is also nice. So uh, this was the whole setup. And uh, if I want to show you like, uh, yeah, I will share the visit with you so that you can also play with it. Uh, and if I'll show that the executions that I've done, so if I'll come over here, this is the recent one and just let it load, you will be able to see So what I asked was, how can I upgrade my Mac? And here it provided all the information with the Mac OS. And here you can also see that what actually happened when I asked the question. So like, uh, how can I upgrade uh, my Mac? This is the message that I sent. This is all the information that it has. And uh, then <clears throat> this is the output of the AI agent. But before that, what it did, uh, it updated the memory and uh, so I think this was the first thing that it did. Uh, it checked the memory, then uh, it used that memory to populate uh, the data. So second part was, uh, yeah, so this is the main part, uh, the quadrant vector store part. Uh, what it is doing over here is, uh, so when you provide the data over here, like a query, it sends it to the AI agent. AI agent uses the tool. So first call was basically a tool call. Uh, and uh, in the tool call, it uh, sends the query that how to upgrade Mac. So as you can see, this query came from the first uh, time uh, when it was sent to OpenAI. And uh, it got some output based on the query. So it did the search and all. And uh, so you can see, these are the responses, the tokens uh, that it has received, chunk tokens. And here is the output. And then it provided that response back to the input, um, back as an input to the OpenAI chat model again. And once, so finally it uh, updated the memory and provided in a better format back to the user. So this is the whole workflow that happened. So it's very intuitive for us because we guys like uh, we know how service now flows are and it is very similar. It, and why I used this one, because I didn't have to like these connectors are already there, like quadrant vector store connection and um, um, memory, adding it to memory, open AI chat models. These connections are already there. Even ServiceNow connections are also here. So if I want to create a new connection for ServiceNow, uh, let me also show you like what is going on over here. So as you can see over here, I'm using uh, ServiceNow basic auth and uh, resources table record and uh, get many operations and knowledge. And I'm, I'm basically returning all the knowledge articles you can and with these uh, means uh, like only three op uh, three names, uh, three fields, because I don't want like metadata and all to, uh, to store it in a vector database and how to trigger this indexion pipeline. So if I'll go to editor and if I'll say execute profile, so this is a manual for now, but I can also create a, a webhook, which will listen to any update or any server record. And then it will basically do that. So here the workflow has been executed and uh, I think I can check it over here. So here uh, it has added all the information back into the uh, quadrant data store. So right now it's manual. And if once you'll make it active, 
and uh, so what you will receive is uh, an option to so there was a I'm also new, <laughs> so just bear with me for this. You can uh, best thing also about it is the evaluation part. You can add your own uh, like test data set, and it will run for all of them, and then you can get to, like you can just check it. You know. Okay, so what I wanted to show uh, the last piece, which is very important, is uh, how you can trigger it. Uh, this N810 workflow from your own uh, chat. Now, as you can see over here, there are two parts of it. So one is the data ingestion part, another is the rack chat bot part. And uh, data ingestion is something that you can like uh, do it ad hoc. You don't have to, uh, and you can manually execute it as well. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, but for the rack chatbot, you really want to listen to uh, like what is going on in the chat, right? Uh, means if somebody is asking something, so you have to enable the whole chat. Now for that, what I have done is uh, once you open that, uh, when chat message comes, there's an option uh, to make uh, chat publicly available. And once you do that, uh, there's a chat URL that comes in, okay? Uh, and there is a mode which is hosted chat and then there's a mode which is embedded chat and this is where uh, you can use it uh, embedded chat option to really uh, connect it to service now as i've showed it earlier okay and you can enable uh, basic auth or any other uh, credentials um, what i did was uh, earlier i used none but uh, i would uh, uh, like uh, prefer that if you use uh, authentication because otherwise your URL becomes mostly public. If it becomes public, anybody starts chatting with it. So uh, for the testing purposes, it's fine to have uh, uh, no authentication. So once you have that, uh, you will see that uh, you can add it in the visit. I'm going to provide it to you, a webhook, a webhook URL, and then it will come at come like this uh, so there will be an option to do directly chatting from service now to an, an trigger an it and workflow so if you want like a simple rag chat you can use it and also to understand that what really happens when you do these things uh, and if i'll show you over in the contents like uh, you will see the info that when I loaded all those articles, uh, so the distance, like how similar uh, the query and the uh, information the, uh, is uh, is determined by cosine. So, and uh, there are other informations available as well. Uh, but uh, the important part is. Uh, so let me just go back over here the points so all the data is actually present as a, so this point contains this data uh, another point contains another type of data so this point only contains the name content of the kb article and uh, so here you can really visualize that uh, how different chunks are connected so the best defense against spear phishing is carefully um, is to carefully securely discard information. Phishing attacks, uh, phishing attacks again, best defense. So these are like kind of uh, connected, and you can also find like similar informations. You can play with it, uh, and and these similar information are presented in a graph as well. So just to understand that what really goes on. And I'm going to share a few more uh, rag template, uh, sorry, uh, N810 templates, like a deep research template as well. So if you want to like connect your um, chatbot with a deep research model, I means do a deep research, you can also do that. So 
yeah if you have any questions that how i've configured or if you are going to configure um if you have any questions that if you are stuck anywhere please let me know share your uh, comments uh, i'm i will create more uh like uh, information and tutorials related to your queries this was also one of the query that i got that um, how what really goes on behind the rag store uh, like rag search and how can we visualize it and i found that uh, n at n provides a better way of understanding the whole thing so yeah and if you really go even deeper there are various plenty of uh, very good courses on rag uh, which you can use so this was was like a no code way to understand it but uh, yeah there are multiple other ways as well uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you